All right, what's up, guys? How's it going? Brain Smasher here. Just got a slab of records. I would show off. I was gonna shoot this video like three weeks ago before I did my other video about black and death metal, but I wound up shooting it and I didn't like it. And I shot it again and just I couldn't get the lighting to work out right. It's just been a really rough couple of weeks, so I don't know. I guess I guess we'll try it again. I, this better be good. Uh, otherwise, I just I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore. But uh, yeah, what we're listening to is uh, in the background. If you can hear it, it's uh, this fast. Old Black, and uh, it's pretty good, just standard, fast, German, nasty, unholy, black and death metal. Um, I don't know, I've had this for a couple years, I don't really listen to it very often, but when I was younger I kind of liked it a little bit more than I do now, but, you know, whatever, I hope you like it. So I got a bunch of uh, I got a bunch of records pulled aside to show you. Uh, I got here. Okay, so what about so first one we have here is this uh, Rose of Beverast with Blood Vaults. It comes in this digipack with gold foil embossing on it, uh, and these guys are from Germany, and uh, the color of the paper is black, and it, it has this real nice like gold ink on it or something. I really like that. I don't know if you can still get this. It came out in uh, 2000. And 14, but yeah. Um, also got this fucking killer album by Empyrium. Love these bags of stuff. They're well protected. Uh, this is a, a German pagan metal band. This album is called Winter Sunset. I really like it. It's kind of it's kind of like emotional and acoustic sounding and atmospheric. Purple and gold. Uh, it's kinda it's kinda atmospheric, I don't know. So not 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 quite like all the way like you know, like flowers. It's got frosty flowers in there. It came out on Prophecy Productions. Yeah. So get that. I hope you like that. Also, this this is the first one from Sequiae. Suspender, uh, suspenders in the room with she clothes. Uh, if you like like castle metal or like like black metal, like blasphemy or something, you probably won't like this. Um, but if you like like. I don't know, I'm trying to think, but Voivod, you might like, you might, you might like it. So that's, uh, Binder Recordings put this out, 2013, I think, 30, yeah. A lot of these albums are kind of older, um, I'm just, I've had them in my collection for quite a while, and I just, I kind of, I listen to them sometimes when I like, I just want to listen to something I like, you know? Hey, are you going to clean your rooms in the Can you not first? No. I haven't cleaned my rooms yet. I'm shooting a video. You're going to be in the video. Alright, I love you. Bye. Um, so anyways, next... Next one I got here is, uh... Old Man's Child. More... More castle. Stuff. Man, I really been digging castles lately. Uh, comes in a sweet digipack. It's all purple and stuff. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but like, if you like Norwegian black metal, 
I mean, you can't go wrong with this. Um, yeah. Love that. So, a uh, couple LPs. A couple sick, sick LPs. Uh, this one is... Uh, this is Revenge's second or third album or something. Like, I don't know which one. I don't know how you hold it. But, uh... It's got this, like, smooth paper kind of feeling to it. Like, it's like you, you would think you could feel this skull here because it looks so real. But when you put your hand on it, it just feels like paper. It's like, it fucks with your mind. And that's like, that's what this album's like. Like, it fucks with your mind. Because, like, you think there's going to be, like, like, riffs and music and stuff, but, like, it's not. It's not even, it's not like that at all. It's got, like, this spiky sticker for your car. It even comes with a fucking poster. You know, I'll never hang this up, because Mama kill me, but look at that thing. Wow. And then, uh, look at this. They actually printed the, no, I guess those aren't the lyrics, but... If they had lyrics, they would probably put the lyrics on the on the paper. Like I heard that I've heard that Nuclear War Now um, like chops down a lot of trees to make the paper for the lyrics for the for like the super deluxe fancy editions and stuff. And like I I don't know how they do this stuff. Like look at this fucking center label. It's huge. It goes all the way up. The thing, the record, I don't, I don't know how they do this stuff. Like, I don't know how to make records, guys, or like, lyric sheets, these gotta be like $15 a piece anyway, so it's like, of course I'm gonna spend 68 bucks on this fucking thing, I mean, oh, I got water all over it. Um, yeah. This is, uh, this is my favorite Revenge album. I don't really like the newer stuff, I kinda, it kind of got like froggy or something. Oh shit. I don't know, they got. Their bass player got kind of lanky and stuff. I don't really listen to stuff like frog metal that much, but you know, I don't know. I'm not going to say you can't do whatever you want to do. I mean, it's, it's heavy metal, you know? It's a free, it's a free country. Canada is anyways, but uh, yeah. oh, I never get those in there. So, uh, yeah, it's really hot outside today, it's in the middle of summer, it's really, it's really hot out. I gotta get a pool or something and sit in the pool. There we go. Um, so then next, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, this is Wolves in the Throne Room. And like, I guess these guys are kind of like eco-political or something, but like, I don't know, I don't really get into that ecology kind of stuff. It's just, you gotta separate the art from the records. Um, comes on this amazing, amazing gate folder. It's got, it's like one picture in, in two places. I don't know how they do this stuff, but there you go. That's what it is. Yeah, man, really puts it down there. Picked up a lot of new subscribers lately. I really appreciate you guys hanging in there with me and watching all my videos and stuff. Cool to be a part of the community. Um, 
Next, I got this fucking tape, and this is this was the Die Hard. Um, the guy had posted on his uh, TikTok that you had to like it was this exclusive like I, I don't know like sorcery kind of thing where you had to like you had to go okay so here's what I did I to get this it's it's amazing but um you had to go to a, an animal shelter um after hours and you had to break in and you had to steal a sick dog and then you had to um set it on fire and then put the ashes in a bottle and uh leave it uh, at the post office, and you had to send the ashes of the stolen sick dog to this guy, um, along with um, like a box of Nilla wafers or something, and like a bunch of like peanut butter, and jelly beans, and stuff. Um, and so then you would like you would be entered into a drawing where you you might well you had to pay I had to pay. Uh, I can't remember. My buddy, my buddy actually ordered it for me. I think he paid like 68 bucks. I did the dog thing, and then he did the the, the he, uh, I did the dog on the TikTok, and then he did the Venmo. He Venmo the guy. Okay, here it is. Yeah, this is oh, just every time I I touch it, I get I get the chills. This is a band. Disincarnate. Disincarnate. Yeah. Dreams of the caring kind. This thing is so wicked cool. So, I mean, I, you could come over and listen to it. Like, look at that on shell. Do you see that on shell print? Guys, this shit. Well, this was my favorite Black Butter release of 2019. Comes in this like hand printed silk screen bag to protect it. And then um, this, this came with other um, cremated sick old dog ashes in it. But uh, Put that away. So that's a that's a crucial winner. Okay. So last one for today. Um, this is really, really, really cool. This is uh, Craternus. Craternus. Not sure. I'm sure I'm butchering the name on all these. Um, and this is a this is a 10 inch. And it comes in a 12-inch sleeve, which I thought was pretty cool. I mean, it was kind of pricey, but I knew, like, you're paying for a 12-inch sleeve, but, but you get a 10-inch record in it. And then... And then... See, look at this. You get the... You get the lyrics with it. And then the lyrics has a picture. That's worth the, the cost alone. Um, if I showed you the cover or not. Um, it has seven songs on it. It's hand numbered. And here's the best part. There. Look at that. That's amazing. And then, since it's a 10 inch, you get more center label than, than you would, no, I guess, yeah, I guess you're getting, you're paying for more label than you're paying for music, but the labels are really cool, and like the record has the splatter on it. Um, I can't really remember what this sounds like or anything, but you should check it out. They're from uh, Singapore, and this came out 17 years ago on an obscure French label. And you can sell
So, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.